Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to run HTML files using Visual Studio Code. My name is Jasmine, and this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid cybersecurity, ethical hacking, or cloud pro fast. Whether you're a beginner or an experienced web developer, being able to preview your HTML files is crucial for testing and debugging your web projects. First, here is a quick reminder that HTML itself isn't a programming language you traditionally run. It provides the structure for web pages, and browsers interpret that structure to display the content. So, with that in mind, let's dive into the five ways to run HTML files using Visual Studio Code. The first method is using the HTML preview extension. It is one of the easiest ways to preview your HTML files in Visual Studio Code. This extension is lightweight and allows you to quickly render your HTML files in a built-in preview window. To install this extension, open the Extensions tab in VS Code, usually on the left sidebar. Search for HTML preview. There are many options, so pick the one that comes first in the search. Once installed, open your HTML file. Look for a preview pane to appear next to your code or a button to activate the preview. The specifics will vary slightly depending on the extension you chose. Now, the beauty is that as you edit your HTML, the preview will update in real time, showing you the changes instantly. The second method is using the Open in Browser extension this is particularly useful when you need to test your web pages with JavaScript and CSS or when you want to see how your pages look on different browsers. So first search for Open in Browser in the Extensions tab. Install the one that comes first in the search. With your HTML file open, right-click anywhere in the code. You should see an option like Open in Browser or something similar. Click it. This will launch your default web browser and display the web page based on your HTML code. The third method is using the Visual Studio Terminal. This method uses the terminal built into VS Code. You can access it by clicking on the hamburger icon and then selecting a new terminal option. It will automatically open the directory where the code is saved. In case you haven't created a folder for the file, you have to manually go to its directory. For that, use the CD command along with the directory path. For example, if your file is in a folder named sample, you should execute cd sample in terminal. Now use the start command along with the name of the HTML file to run it. This method is particularly useful when you're working on a server-side project or when you need to run additional scripts or commands alongside your HTML files. The fourth is using the Live Server extension. Install the Live Server extension from the Extension tab and then click Open with Live Server in the right menu of the file. This way you can view the live changes by reloading the page, but you have to save changes before reloading. The fifth method is by using the VS Code Open with Option. By default, Visual Studio Code comes with this Open with Option that allows you to open the HTML file. Here I have Microsoft Edge as my default browser, so it is showing Open with Edge, but your option might be different depending on the default browser. Simply click on it and the HTML page will open. Among all the other four methods, this is the easier one. This is because you don't have to install any extension and the browser opens in the same window. Further to view any changes in the HTML code, first save the file and reload the browser page. The best part about using this method is that it opens the browser inside Visual Studio, which is far more convenient as it saves the time of switching between app and browser. And that's a wrap on the how to run an HTML file in Visual Studio Code. If you've enjoyed this guide and found it helpful, don't forget to hit subscribe for more tips and ring the bell to stay updated. Give it a thumbs up to let others know. Thanks for watching and check out the video on the right for more content to help you develop your IT career.